Remember in school when you got taught all the gods of Egypt? Did you ever wonder, could they make a movie out of that? We're here tonight at Brandon Theaters watching Gods of Egypt. I was a little excited for this movie, kind of let down by this movie. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And we saw it in 3D, so I'm thinking it should be pretty good. Oh my God, this movie, I felt like I watched a, a high school slash early college level bunch of people be like, hey, I got an idea for a movie. Total but we'll have great visuals and we'll maximize some 3D and it should sell some tickets and we might make a little money. The acting was terrible. Gerard Butler is like a redeeming quality of the movie. And then you have Jeffrey Rush who's another like redeeming quality, but the movie is just awful. The plot didn't know what it wanted to do. It shows this one thing and you're cool and then it goes something else. You're like, wait, what about, what? It just show me some more visual eye candy stuff so I can just be like, ooh, ah. The only thing that's actually worth the watch is somewhat of the historicalness to like Egypt and the gods and the lands and the costume designs. Other than that, the movie is just a big eye candy, 3D, blah, and there you go. I'm gonna give this movie a six out of 10. Entertaining, sure, entertaining, but unless you're with a group of people, I think if you go with a bunch of people, you'll enjoy it, be like, yeah, me and my bros. To see what the other thieves had to say, let's check that out. Well, I had pretty low expectations. I would say that I wasn't let down. There was a lot of really cool visual action. A lot of really cool ideas, actually. They're able to create visual wonder out of all these characters that you may have read about from Egyptian mythology. This was not a good movie. <laughs> that that's said, <laughs> I did enjoy I did actually enjoy it. The story was not good, and I did not enjoy the acting. <laughs> However, visually, it was stunning, and I personally like that. I didn't expect the plot, the acting, and the screenplay to be all that good, so I didn't accept my expectations too high for that, but the visual effects, the art direction, the costume design, really, really awesome. But I think that's what this movie, want, all it wanted to be. Not something really original, not something top-notch as far as the acting and the screenplay goes, but you got the visual effects, so anyone who loves the visuals, who loves cool fight scenes, and Egyptology in general, you're gonna love this movie. Gerard Butler is one of the low points of the movie, actually. As soon as he enters this movie, I mean, I was just sort of aghast because it's supposed to be set in Egypt, like the actual place like that exists. <laughs> Granted, there's, there's fantastic elements because we're talking about gods, but it's like one of the Egyptian gods basically has a Scottish accent. That does not work in any way for me. There's basically all these white people up here being like Egyptian gods. I love black and, and, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, I'll give him this. He was the smartest god of all of them, so that's he's got that going on. <laughs> Probably that was the most fun of all the god characters. I'm a fan of Egypt. It's nice to see how they interpreted the places and the gods that I've read about. The design of Ra's chariot as he pulls the sun across the sky, that's worth the price of admission. So on a scale of 1 to 10, will you give it? I'd give it a 6. I mean, I don't rate it any lower because it was nice to look at and I did have a good time. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. It would be a 6, but I love the visuals. Fun to watch. I'm a visual effects guy, as I say every review about visual effects movies. So really awesome visual eye candy. I'm giving it a six, mainly because I was entertained. Well, I mean, was entertained. I, I was not really that bored. It, it moves at a pretty quick pace. Probably the first 20 minutes is actually the worst part of the movie. Yeah. And then there's a re really entertaining moment after moment for like a good hour and a half. Obviously, the people win that you think you're going to win. And, you know, there's some satisfaction in that. It's still a six out of ten because there was a lot of eye rolling and groaning on, on my part thanks to that. Wonderful dialogue and wonderful acting. So since I feel this is a Gerard Butler movie, I want to know what is the best Gerard Butler movie out there. So go ahead and shoot that down there in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Like the video, favorite it, share it. And remember, you heard it here at The Source.